Okay, let's go over into the family room. It's dark today because it's rainy and I have a whole nother situation going on under the house where it's flooding and I'm just hitting my head against a wall, but we're gonna put that to the side for today and today only because Shane's biggest, I'm honestly very excited too, but like Shane has had something to live for ever since he has put a date on the books for tonight. Okay, first of all, let me just say this. I can't believe you're making me do this right now while the babies are asleep, and it's so hard for me not to scream. <laughs> I'm containing my squeals. <laughs> so, as you guys know, my favorite YouTubers of all time, my favorite OTP, my ultimate couple goals, Peter and Kitra of Ordinary Ventures. We've been talking about them for months. Ordinary Ventures is my favorite blogger couple. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. And they go to amusement parks. <laughs> And they eat food. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? I can't imagine my life before them. I don't know what I was doing before them. I'm literally on their Patreon. I'm like watching their live streams on her fake account, asking questions like, girl, I'm that level of creep. But me and Kitcher talk and we DM and I'm like, I'm sorry if I'm being creepy. And she's like, you're not being creepy. I'm being creepy too. And I'm like, girl, let's be creepy. So finally, after months, I just pulled the trigger and I said, girl, when are you guys free? Let's get a babysitter. Let's do this. And she was like, I could do this date. And I was like, I could do this date. Boom, done, here we go. And it's been on the books for weeks. I've been nervous for weeks. I've been texting her being like, I'm gonna cry when I meet you. Is that weird? Listen, this is what I'm trying to say. I don't wanna look crazy though. Is this, this is crazy. It's wanted, a little crazy. I wanted to document the moment because I do feel like it's a momental moment. A monumental moment. See, the fact that he is correcting my grammar means that I'm really fucked up. <laughs> I'm not in my right headspace right now, but they mean so much to me, and I know this is weird. Oh, you guys might get it. They, a peril social relationship. Yeah, they mean so much to me. I found them, especially at a moment in my life where I was too afraid to leave the house and just like feeling bad about myself. So I would go on vacations and trips through them. Like I would watch them enjoy their trips and their cruises and their theme parks. And I'd be like, wow, it's like I'm hanging out with them. And then I'd always be like, oh, one day maybe I'll hang out with them. And now we're hanging out with them. It's like, this is too much. And we're going to one of my favorite restaurants, El Compadre, which I haven't been to in forever because we don't live close to Hollywood anymore, but it's kind of a middle point for both of us. So we're headed over to, I guess it's West Hollywood and we're gonna go. Here's the thing, how do I play it? How do I play it? I like, mean, you I just wanna, play it authentically. I wanna feeling. be friends. Like I wanna be real life friends. Well then vlogging and putting it on YouTube, your actual emotions before meeting them probably isn't the way to do that. Right. <laughs> no, you know what? Here's the thing. My relationship with them before I meet them is different. Once I meet them, it's gonna be different, right? It's gonna be based in reality. My current relationship with them is based No, you in... text her. You guys DM and text and talk. I know, but we haven't met face to face. So I feel like there's still like these figures in my brain of like entertainment and I love them and I feel like I know them. But like, what if I meet them and they hate me? Like, what if I meet them and they're just like, oh, he's like weird. Would you not be able to watch their channel anymore? Oh, that's hard. But that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna manifest that because I think it's gonna go great and I want them to be friends with me and I wanna be friends with them. I'm nervous. What am I gonna wear? What am I gonna do? Oh my God. <sighs> what are you gonna eat? And are we gonna get like a food review in real time? Are they gonna rate the food with their heads? I know this is weird. I'm aware. You should get a restraining order because I am gonna show up and I'm gonna run and I'm gonna fucking tackle you with a hug. It's gonna be a lot. It's like they're at Disneyland and I'm goofy. And I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. like it's gonna be too much. I'm excited. Okay, well, I don't know if I'm like gonna just throw a camera in their face, but we'll see. No, you gotta play it cool. There's no playing it cool when I have this big clunky vlog camera. If I have it at all, it's like boom, boom, boom. No, 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 it's like, okay, here's how you play it. Here's how you play it. We're like, we're kikiing, we're drinking our flaming margaritas, and we're like, oh my God, the tea. And then you're just like, I'm sorry, I'm filming this little day in my life. Can I just get a quick little clip? And Cut to it. Like, the yeah. starting of this vlog is five minutes of us talking about how we're here, like gonna go meet them. See, but they don't know that yet. And then once this vlog comes out, that's when they're straining where it is. <laughs> and then this will be the last time we ever meet them. But you know what? It's my make a wish and I'm ready. We gotta go. Oh, do you wanna show the flood under our house or is that bringing down the mood? No one cares about that. Although what I will say is our house is currently flooded. It's a whole fucking nightmare. And Peter and Kitra, they're going through a flood right now. It's been happening for a year at their house because they document the journey on their Patreon. So I have something to talk to them about. It's like friend things. Okay, gotta go. <laughs> Okay, just, hold on, no, 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 I got a, I got a vlog. Shane goes, well, are you gonna get a vlog clip? And I said, well, I don't wanna be creepy. And I said, they're gonna know you're creepy once they see what's going on before this. Well, first of all, hello. Yay! Best night ever! Okay, so do you guys think it's pathetic 
how excited I am or are you okay with it? Is it weird that I'm a Patreon? I have a lot of questions. Well, before this dinner, she was like, I'm gonna throw up. No, I was the same way all day. <laughs> right before we got here, I broke a nail and I had to go back into, that's why we, we were- We made our late. Uber driver drive back to And it was raining and I was like, I can't go to dinner with a broken nail. <laughs> and that's why we were like five minutes late. But yeah, it's, we're so excited to meet you guys and it's been so much fun and- <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I told Shane because I was filming on the vlog camera. I was like, you can't, we can't go meet somebody and like have a vlog camera ready to throw Here's in the their though. face. This is why I don't think it's weird because I genuinely love them and like, I don't know, like I feel like it's not weird to express my love for, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is it weird though? I'm, oh, it's weird. No, I'm more excited than you. Also, they got us a baby blanket. Well, Duffy, if you know, you know. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is like the coolest dinner ever. Peter did a magic trick. That Guys, was crazy. Check out their Patreon vlog. Join the squad. Okay, I've embarrassed myself enough. I hope you guys could hear this. I was too embarrassed to bring a vlog camera. Sorry, everyone. Hello everyone, good morning. It is a fantastic day because amidst all the chaos of my flooding drama. I have decided and never in my wildest dreams when I woke up this morning did I think I'd be doing this, but I just, you know, had childcare and thought, you know what? It would be a wonderful day to go to Universal Studios Hollywood because the sun is shining, the sky is blue, and I need a little pick me up. Here's Elizabeth. She's vlogging, this is my vlog. You gotta turn your vlog camera off and get in here and perform. Get in here and perform for me. Elizabeth, yeah. Gordon, what took you so long? I told you I was running late this morning. Okay, put your camera here. This is a dual action comedy. Did you ever think when you woke up this morning this would be your reality? I had a feeling. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I had a feeling. You literally did not have a feeling. Dude, any day this could be with you. I wake up every day wondering, I wonder if we're going to Disneyland today. It got real dark for me recently with all of that rain and that flooding. Oh, Icarus is in the window. Icarus shit in the fucking doorway so I couldn't get out of the house is until I cleaned up the shit. Is that you so long? No, I was heading out and then I realized that motherfucker shitted in there. Icky, we're over here. He doesn't know. Oh no, he does. His face is pressed against the glass so he can't turn to look at you more. Notice how his snoot is moved in the wrong way. <laughs> so I've had a whole range of emotions today. I really got down at the dumps for a second. Oh no. And Shane was even like, what's going on? Are you gonna come back to life? And I said, no. And no. normally I go to yoga to like, you know, have a detox, yeah. a release, and then I feel better. He calls me after my yoga class. Do you feel better? No. <laughs> It's hard times. <laughs> and you know what? I woke up today, it's 70 degrees, the sun is shining, the sky is blue, and I thought, you know what? I have childcare. I think I need to go to Universal Studios. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what? Do you mind if I run back inside and grab some ginger <laughs> chews? Oh my gosh. I mean, yes, you can, but will you stay here and vlog with me for one second? Yeah. And so then I said, but Lizzie, am I an awful person? If on a day that I have childcare, I'm going to Universal Studios without them. She didn't reply. No, I said, no, we're working. <laughs> I said, no, we have to work. I said, this is work. I'm working. I'm vlogging. I had a meltdown yesterday and I took myself to the movies. Alone? Yeah. Was it good? No. The Did movie sucked. The chairs were uncomfortable and I left super sleepy and passed out at five after crying. Have you already seen Wonka? No, but I hear it's awful. Really? I heard yeah. it was good. It's awful. I put it on at my house twice and I'm just like, what in the fuck? Oh. Go get it's, your ginger oh, okay. cheese. We've oh, got to yeah. go to Universal. I only have until bath time. Oh my God. And Look, she's and pregnant, pregnant, so we can't go on oh. crazy rides. <laughs> You will not take that many ginger chews. No, but it's better safe than sorry. <sighs> wow, that run took it out of me. <laughs> okay, we're at Universal Studios Hollywood. Do you like how I just disregard your vlog completely? Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, look at the gorgeousness and the happiness this is selling. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Uh, we have been trying to park for a half an hour now. My car is too fucking tall for these ceilings. <laughs> and I told Lizzie, let me just pay and park where I always park. And she was like, no, 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 just pay for the general parking. Go we can go, walk. go that way. No, I, it's a one way. But we need to get out of here. I can't go. There's no reason for the turnaround. Oh my did. God, I think. Oh, I think oh my God. No, there's the exit spiral oh, over thank here. God. But then I don't know what to do. 
I don't think you can access the exit spiral right here. Are you kidding me? Oh no, it says exit, okay. The drama. The drama, and I had to pee so bad that I just parked in a non-parking spot and ran all the way up to Universal City Walk so that I could go pee, and now I, I don't know, I don't know. We're having a little bit of a meltdown. I still think you can park right there. The arrow for accessible parking is after that spot. Okay, I'm gonna park there. Literally, you're right, because they would have it over one if yeah. this wasn't the accessible parking. Right. And there isn't the reserve side in front. I'm glad we came to this conclusion. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, we come back to my car, Toad. It's gone. They can't tow a car out of here. I mean, I bet they can. This is gonna dump us into the city walk where the, the Wonka stuff is, right? Yes, sir. What is it? Is it the Wonka Cafe or what? Yeah, it's the Wonka Cafe. No, like what is it actually? No, it's the Wonka Cafe. Uh, you're lying. No, I'm not lying. Joe and I tried to eat there the other day. And? We didn't have the patience. <laughs> oh, is there gonna be a line? What is it? I don't think we wanna eat there. Oh, okay. You just wanna get one of those little milkshakes, right? Mm -hmm. Probably. There's reserve signs at where my car is. And there's no cone in that spot. Which there's cones in all the other. So I don't know. Okay. We gotta get this sunscreen. Oh, oh my gosh, should I take that spot, Lizzie? Go, 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 go. go. Definitely. Go, go hurry, there's no stand in it. Stand in it. Stand in it. <laughs> the fates have smiled upon us today. All right, let's party. Now I'm excited. Wow, I haven't been to City Walk in so long. City Walk kind of fucks. I literally can't remember the last time I was here. It looks like nobody's at the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium. Toothsome, yeah. Do you want to take a chance to walk through it? There's nothing I hate Joe more than Joe and I do it. We feet. just hold hands and we walk super slow through it. Like no. Maniacs. Yeah. But I'm worried it's going to give me a little yeasty. I will not have wet socks all day, but I'll watch you. Don't be a pussy. Well, if I watch the pattern, then I could run and not get hit. But it's there, really pumping out. There's no running. you got to go slow. <laughs> yeah. You're wild. I was just saying we're actually going to go time. to the chocolate factory after. Oh, hold on. My husband's calling. Hello. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so old. Oh my god, she made it. I got gone. Wait, is your feet wet? Just a little. You're crazy. It's the, for the thrill of it. Wow. I like, oh my gosh. Wait, should I get Shane? I don't think he'd like pink. Like this one's the one that calls to me. You can't be seen with me in that though. No one can be seen in that. <laughs> My husband told me that there was a new Super Mario Bros. cafe, and I'm guessing this might be it, but it's not in the land itself. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so we went to this new cafe. Honestly, the ice in the drink that we got looks incredible. I think this ice looks better than those cubed ice cubes. I'm violently excited for that. I like have to show you what kind of ice we're talking about. Like, are you kidding me? And then we got the toad pretzel and we got a calzone that is also shaped. Like a mushroom. Like a mushroom! This food is honestly so cute. And then you pour this I don't know what, it. yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god! I thought there were gonna be little bobas. There's bobas in there already. Okay, so I just opened the box and this little guy came out. Do you want to come taste test with us? Don't invite him into our lives. Why? <laughs> we're just trying to have a taste test. <laughs> That's beautiful, sir. Would you all like a bite of anything? Have you had Toad Soul Cafe before? Okay, I need to jump into this. It's like a meat. Oh my gosh. There he goes. Is it gonna make it colorful? And I think it makes it glittery too. She said stir it up. And so the drink that we got, is that just Sprite? And then whatever the star is, it's gonna make it a flavor? Did you just cheapen the experience? I mean, I'm just trying to understand what this is. Okay, what's going on is the white parts are actually melted pieces of cheese. I guess I'm just gonna take a huge bite into it. 
Oh my god, there's glitter in it now. Wow, that's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, I bet this bitch is full of yellow dyes. Mm. 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 Oh, that's good. Is it delicious? Oh my god. It's like lemon flavor. And there's glitter up in that bitch. Are these the bobas that pop in your mouth? Yeah. Can you take a bite of this? It smells like feet. It's meat inside of just a bread cage with cheese. And red dye 40. Honestly, it's pretty good. Did you get a bite with the cheese in it? You hate it? I don't hate it. You have zero reaction. It's just... I'm contemplating it. The meat mixture is like... Hmm. I would say I like it. I like it, but again, I'm hesitant because of the red dye. She thinks it's going to kill everyone. No, I think it's going to give us all tumors and ADHD. So this is their flower up pretzel or their one up pretzel. This pretzel comes with three different sauces. I wish I knew in the moment what it was. That's Blanca queso. Oh my gosh, it's cold. Oh, I don't think it's supposed to be cold. This is mustard. Really? It's supposed to be warm? Yeah, who the fuck wants cold it's cheese? It's been in the fridge. Fill the bottom. <laughs> and then what do you think this is? Chipotle something, Chipotle Ranch. That honestly smells like the least appealing of them to me. Yeah, I like it the most. Are you gonna try this one? Yes. <gasps> oh! Wow, it breaks apart. It's like two tiered. I'm gonna try the queso first. That cheese being cold was a mistake. I don't think it should be cold. Is that how they intended it? No. It would be so good if it was warm. I'm fucking obsessed with it if it's warm. The mustard is just whatever. Duh. Let me taste the orange sauce. I feel like that's a cheese sauce too. Oh, what? That's like a spicier cheese. What is it? Chipotle, smoky. Um, you know what? I want to put this calzone and dip that in the white sauce. Mm. What if I just pulled my dick out and put it in the white sauce? If you have a dick, I'll be shocked. Thank you. <laughs> mm. There's a little bit too much bread on the calzone, but if you tear it apart and eat it from the middle, the proportions are right. I would say I like the bread on the calzone more than I like the pretzel bread. I like the pretzel and the white cheese so much, I want it for my birthday. If I want to keep eating today, I should probably stop. I don't. Okay. Ah! If your kids hadn't come when they did, oh, I didn't mean this for the vlog. <laughs> did you hear what I was saying? <laughs> if my kids didn't come when they did what? You and I would have come here and enjoyed Bridgeville. Oh. Or Whoville. My kids did uh, make us miss Christmas at Universal Studios, but next Christmas, they'll be here with us. You see the glitter, right? I don't know if the vlog sees the glitter, but I see the glitter. I love it. Do you want me to hold it for you? No, I'm just gonna try to open it now. Oh my God. I also think it's kind of pearly. It's so satisfying when it crunches and just splurts. I do think the inside is Sprite as well though. In this? Ooh, open up. <laughs> Okay, I had to get some caffeine because I'm on a strict caffeine schedule so I don't get a headache. But we're looking up the things Lizzie can do here while pregnant. And of course, the two rides she can go on are the two ones I hate the most. Life but the one pets, I love the most. Life of Pets fucking sucks. The line for that ride makes me want to jump out of my body. It's and Despicable Me. Ride. Are you kidding me? Despicable um, Me? No, Life of Pets. I don't give a fuck about this. No, but those were the two the internet said you can go on. Yeah. And those are like... That's fine. We're gonna have fun no matter what. Lizzie was nice enough to say though she would wait in any line with me, which is crazy. I would never make her do that. We're just gonna do pregnant, fine things like the backlot tour. Can't do that. Yes, you can. No, shaking. No way. Wow, I can't even see Wisteria Lane now that I've been re-watching Desperate Housewives. So what do we do? Secret Life of Ben! No, I will... <laughs> I will wait in line with you though. That's not a big deal for me. I'm not you. I just love being here with my buddies. We're fishing out the boba because it's so good. It might just be 7 up. It's right, but yeah. Okay, one of the things Elizabeth can do is go to the Kung Fu Panda movie. I've never seen it. It's like vibrating seats while you watch a movie. Sounds sexy. Oh, you know what? I think I've been to Shrek. I don't know that I've been to Kung Fu Panda. I don't think Shrek exists anymore. Oh, this will be new for me. You've never been to any of these? No. Oh, wow. She's hiding my drink for me because we realized they weren't allowed and I had just waited in line for 40 minutes to get this coffee. It's like offensively cold in here. They're acting like it's 300 degrees outside. Oh. We're just waiting for the kids. Oh. Turns out that ride wasn't ride. This like experience wasn't pregnancy safety seats were like the second it started, I was like, you gotta go to the non-moving seat behind you. But she still got sprayed in the face. I had a great time. Oh, 
Okay, I've never played like the carnival-esque type games at Universal in the what land is Simpsons. You're right, I am blacked out and I'm stuttering. We're in Springfield. I'm trying to convince him to throw his coffee away because he's a mess. No, I need it. I need it. Okay, so we chose a game. We're gonna play this game and I'm gonna win what? Yeah, like a little Bart even... or Homer for my kids? I don't think you even showed them what the game is. Oh. <laughs> So you get decent sized balls and you have to throw them in, but I think the trick is not to throw it too hard because then it will ricochet back out. Right, you don't want an indecently sized ball. The vibes over here are immaculate. Okay, we found the scoreboard. Six will get us a homer or a bar. Four will get us a cute little alligator. And two, that pillow's That's trapped. That's an iguana, it's not an alligator. Really? Yeah. I honestly do not want that pillow. I will be offended if I get that pillow. <laughs> I don't know. For ever gonna get to play this but I, I think we put in so much time we have to we have to be in for the we could tap out and go shoot some baskets i keep talking about bailing on this one but she seems to think i'm gonna be great at this he's really good at ball work because he's gay <laughs> i'm rolling <laughs> how many throws on there seven okay last throw counts two points don't embarrass us. I'll try not to. Bring that iguana home, baby. Okay, so from what I observed, low and soft. Soft girl. Kid, baby. <laughs> kid made it look so easy. No, no, she backed up on Mountain Are you oh, kidding me? Do you want to try one? Yeah. Damn, you're kidding me. <laughs> it's so soft. I've lost my meat that is, my friend. Oh, I got it. The last one's two last points. Last one, two points. Are you okay? okay. You're not even alive. Should I go over here? No! I don't recommend it. Oh I'm leaving, this is embarrassing. Are you kidding me? That kid got like seven, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be so easy. It's because we're all jacked up on Mountain Dew. We can't play like this. Do you want me to admit how much money that was? $18. Wow, for nothing. For nothing. <laughs> we didn't even get one. We didn't even have fun. And you told me I was gonna be good at it because I'm gay. I know, maybe you were bad at it because you're gay. Really Does that mean it. I'm also gay? Because I was bad at it too? You're very gay. I guess what's going over here is something that's Fast and the Furious. Why do you think that? Because I saw sign. Oh! A Fast and the Furious ride? There's the tram. If only we could go on that, but bet, somebody's pregnant. I bet none of those people are pregnant. <laughs> Whatever, I'd rather meet your baby than go on the tram ride. Y'all see my little Virgo! He's a Virgo? Yeah. Is that good for us? I think so, yeah. I have two best friends that are Virgos. These are so cute. But I just don't think Shane has anywhere to put it, you know what I mean? Okay, we're eating again. We're trying the Mexican restaurant, just like in the middle of everything. I got the chamoy pineapple. Is that what you would call it? What? You regret uh, not getting the nachos? I'm blacking out looking at this woman's nacho platter. I told you we could get the I nachos know, but as the well. the nachos seems not safe choice because we've got I mean, we hands. have a hand sanitizer. That's not enough. Okay, we can wash our hands first. Also, how about that this has just been my hair all day? <laughs> Honestly, these tostadas, the base is much better than I thought. I thought it was just gonna be some dingy like, Tortilla? Yeah. No, it's like a flour enclosed gorgeous goodness. I probably should have got some hot sauce though from the table, huh? Do they have it? They have some Cholula packets. I'll grab. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. Wow, are you gonna put some of that on yours? Or did you just go get this for me? I think I'll probably use some as well. This looks so good. You're cutting it like a psychopath? I'm scared to use my hands. Really? Didn't you sanitize? Twice. Wow. I literally cannot separate this motherfucker. Okay, all right. It's actually still like a corn yeah. base. It's not a flour. It's like a corn crumpet. I feel like they should have done this with flour. Well, that's non-traditional. Okay, I still like it. Do you like it? I don't know. It's kind of bland in a lot of the corn breading. I'll still eat it. It's like a six out of 10. Mm. What's your rating? I'd give it like a four out of 10. It's just really not great, huh? It's just really not great. <laughs> it has all the things that you would think would make something great, but it's just not. It's a miss. <laughs> I want to go up to one of the families that got nachos and be like, can I try that? How are the beans and rice? They're good. <laughs> Ooh, 
shit. Dang. Wow, the whole thing is covered. In chimoy. Cheers. Cheers. I fuck with that. It's like intense in a good way. One of the better things we've had today. It's like refreshingly sweet and tangling, tangly, tang, tang, tangishly. What? The way I'm sitting right now with my leg dangling, <laughs> like I just got kissed for the first time. Is that what you did when you first got kissed? This goes so hard. It's mm. honestly really refreshing. I'm obsessed with it. And it's making my nose run a little bit. Are the you spiciness. just sick? No. <laughs> I have not really been to Universal since I've gone so hard on becoming a Disney adult. And I have to say, we're Disney girls. We're Disney girls. And it's such a shame that Universal is so close to us because if we could swip swap the locations, swip swap, <laughs> I would live at Disneyland. Oh, it's yeah. really that hour commute, hour and a half in traffic. It's a lot for us. That keeps me from being a Disney adult full blown. Especially when I start taking my kids. It's like, that's a long ways to go before you even get to where you're at. Spray some melatonin in their mouths. <laughs> Knock them out real quick. All right, we're gonna keep eating this and then go to the Wonka Chocolate Factory. Ooh. You think Timothy Jalamez? <laughs> wow, I'm quickly coming back online just to say it aged even better. That is a 10 out of 10 in my book. That's the only reason to come here. The food itself though was trash and from it's that a, restaurant. Yeah, that's a sort of blue ass. Have you seen anything that looks delicious? That fit, that, the. Oh my God, yeah. the confetti has cake on top of it. Yeah, as I said, that one looks lit. Wow, it's pretty cool that you can just walk up to the bar and get milkshakes. <gasps> That's mint also looks incredible. You want the mint, huh? Go with your gut. Well, let me read the other ones. Brownie confetti, red velvet. Gosh, they are $17 too, all right? Say, so let's get two. No, we I can't get two, we would die. Okay, I'm gonna admit to you guys, I thought visually the confetti cake looked the best. Agreed. But from a taste profile standpoint, I really wanted the cookie jar. The chocolatier that we spoke to has said that the cookie jar milkshake option is their top seller. Oh, the confetti cake just has that whole piece of cake on top, but then I'm not as interested in just the vanilla ice Cream. No, in fact, that's a little pedestrian. I'm regretting not getting the confetti cake. I'm not. I do wish we had more friends here, though, so we could have gotten a couple and had it make sense. I mean, we are vlogging. There's lots of friends here. <laughs> We're ready. Oh, shit. Wow. This is gorgeous. I want to marry it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hold on. Let me get a 360 of this. Wow, this is pretty. Do we get to keep this glass? I think so. Oh, how fun. I think let's do a straw taste before we scoop out the top. Okay. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. That's good. It's a milkshake. For some reason, I was thinking it was gonna be more of a thick consistency. I really like thick ice cream. I really like this. It's delicious. It has just the right amount of Oreo and the Oreo's blended just mm. enough to where it isn't a problem. I'm actually obsessed with this. It's fantastic. It goes hard. Mm. Wow, love it. Hope you enjoyed this more chill day at Universal. I feel like this was the most chill time we've ever come. Um, yeah. We're... I still smell horrible. <sighs> Me too. It's because I'm, oh, never mind. What? Nothing. It's because you're what? Oh, I just got a raisin. There's a raisin in this bitch? They've blended up some oatmeal raisin. When you raisin talk like that, I can throw up. The raisin is not what? right with Oreo. What if this is why I throw up? <laughs> they should have a sampler bladder. They should have a sampler. Then they wouldn't look so violently crazy. All right, well, we'll be back. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this because we have both discovered we're unwell. Like, we need to get out of here it's over. and get home fast. Yeah. You just like... <laughs> sickly holding the milkshake to hand to your husband when you walk Shaking. through the door. Both of us have to shake. I have to acknowledge the sacrifices when you're pregnant. I was yeah. like, you know, I just need to be home in a warm bath. Honestly, well, I could take a warm bath, but I want a hot one. Oh, you can't yeah. take a warm bath. Yeah, but who wants a warm bath? Because part of you is just cold the whole time, you know? <laughs> I would ah! think all of you ah! just say goodbye. Bye! Ah!